So for today's video, we are going to be making these cute little pencil keychains. They'd be great for um, teacher gifts at the end of the year or um, back to school or a college student. Um, all kinds of little things, even just cute in general. Um, we're going to need a couple of things for our yarn. We're using a um, Bernat medium number four yarn and a 3.75, I don't know if you see that, you can't see it, but 3.75 hook. Um, for the pencil lead, I am using dark gray heather. For the wood part of the pencil, I am using topaz. Um, this is Red Heart, this yellow, and it's called Saffron. Um, my favorite, Sparkly Gray. This is called Soft Gray Sparkle. And for the eraser, we are using Candy Pink. Okay, we're going to need a couple other things. Um, pliers, if you're going to make it a keychain. I use two just for simplicity, but one is enough. Um, your darning needle, a little bit of stuffing, um, your scissors, of course. Um, I'm using six millimeter safety eyes. You can whoop, use pretty much any size. Um, or if you want to make little... Um, yarn eyes. This is just six single crochets into a loop. And you could use those as well. They look, they'll look kind of like these guys' eyes. And a little keychain thingy. If you're going to be making them a keychain. Or you probably have one hanging around a house where your keys hang. I know I have lots. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get started. So we are going to go from the eraser down. So you're going to start with your um, magic ring, your chain two, your slip knot, however you start your amigurumi. I just make a little knot like a slip knot, but without the little slip and about the size I think I'm going to need. So however you've started, what you're going to begin with is six single crochets into this loop that you've made. So grab your yarn and pull up. Chain one to secure that to your loop. And then you're going to do six single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four. five and six and you're going to be going in the round so your next stitch will start on your first single crochet so if you need to count back one two three four five six you'll be going into this stitch right there i'm just going to grab a piece of yarn for a stitch marker and we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12. I might just try to zoom in that in a bit. See how that goes. One, two, in the first stitch, three and four. And next stitch, we're going to do five and six. And then seven and eight in the next stitch. Nine 
9 and 10 in the next stitch and 11 and 12 in that last stitch of the row. Move your stitch marker if you're using one. Yeah, I can't decide how I want that. Okay, for round three, we're going to do one single crochet, then one increase all the way around for a total of 18. So this will be one, and then two and three will go in the next stitch. And then four will go in the next stitch. Five and six in the next stitch. Seven. Eight and nine. Ten. 11 and 12, 13, 14 and 15, 16, and 17 and 18 should bring you to the last stitch of your previous round. Now we are going to do four, five, six. Rows four, five, and six are 18 stitches all the way around. So we are just going to do three rows of 18. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Move your stitch marker if you're using one. So now row five will be another 18 all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, eleven, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And now for row six. We'll do one more row of 18, but we're not going to finish our 18th stitch because we're going to change our colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then when we get to our 18th stitch, we're going to go in, grab our yarn and pull up, but we're not going to pull through. We're going to tie our next color onto here, and then we're going to pull that color through to make a little bit cleaner of a um, color change. You're still going to see a step in this one, so if you have a different way that works better for you, go ahead and do it your way. Um, whoops. Oh my. <laughs> well, I don't know where I had it, but that'll work. So you'll see this little bit the way I'm doing it. A little bit of a step right there. Okay, done with the pink. Get our, well, I'm using sparkly gray. You don't have to use the sparkly one. Whatever, whatever you're using for the pencil, lead could work for this unless you're using black. So any gray you have, and we're just gonna tie that on. I do it about three times. Just to make sure it's secure. I know some people just grab the yarn and keep going, but I like to have knots everywhere. The more secure it is, the better I feel about it. And we'll just tuck that in there. A little stray silver strand. This is not right here. Let's try that. Okay. Sorry about that. So you pull your gray through, and that finishes um, row six. So now you're going to start row seven with the gray, and you're going to do two rows of 18, just like we did the pink. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Flip your stitch marker if you're using one. And just like your last row of the pink, we're going to do 18 all the way around, but we are not going to finish the last stitch. So we can change the yellow. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and start the 18th, but don't grab your yarn and pull through. Leave those two loops, and then we'll grab our yellow. So just like we did our last color change, we're going to tie our yellow to our gray a couple of times. Make sure your knot is nice and close to um, your work there where your last stitch is so you don't make any holes when you stuff it. Okay, so now we are on row nine. 
9 to 18 um, is 18 single crochets all the way around. But we are going to stop in the middle around, I think, around row... I don't know what row it is, but it's after we have eight rows. So in our eighth row of yellow, we'll stop and we'll put his little face on. So pull through. And we're just going to do eight rows of 18 for now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Whoopies. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen and eighteen. Next row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. That's two of our eight yellow robes. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. That's three of our eight rows. Keep going. One, oops, two, three, oh, oh, yeah, nope, something happened there. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, and that is row four of our eight rows. And 
again. We'll do 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five. Still got three more rows of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. So that's six rows. We have two more rows left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more row for a total of eight yellow rows. One, two, three. Oh, this yellow really splitting on me. Still on three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, so now we're going to put the face on. Um, if you're, if you like doing the face after it's all done, um, go ahead and do two more rows of yellow, and then we'll meet you back to start the brown. Um, I'm going to put the face on now just because I like to not have to reach up in and and I like to tie my knots in the back. So for the eyes, 
They are going to go between rows 12 and 13. So I like this to be the back. So I'm going to count from here on the um, right side where my row would end. So this would be the end of row 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this is my row 12, my row 13 is up here. And if you lose track, it's the fourth row down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm just going to follow that line up into the front. You don't have to be too fancy about where you put your eyes but with these small eyes I found they have to be fairly close or as it as it turns around you actually can't see the eyes and so I put them about two stitches apart so my um, eyes in here so there's one hole one hole and then I'll put it in the next hole there make sure it's on the same row of stitching so you got that straight line right there. And then we'll put our backs on. Let's give it a couple of clicks. And a couple of clicks for the other one. And these little ones harder to deal with. I don't know why. Okay. And then for the cheeks, just get a little bit of pink. If you have some scrap pink, that's fine. I just am going to use... A little chunk off of what I was doing and get your darning needle out and so for him I just went down along the back of the eye here like that made a little I think I went in three times and the stitches didn't work quite as evenly so I just kind of just, this one on a bit of an angle it's the first time I ever done cheeks and I actually I want to go back and and do stuff like this little bee. I want to put cheeks on him now. I think I have about 15 of them sitting in a bucket somewhere. Sorry, I should have turned it off to do that. So you're just going to thread your pink or whatever color you're using. I suppose it could be a lot of different colors. So I'm just going to go in the stitch right here down from the eye. If yours matches up the same. Um, if not, just kind of go anywhere between here and here. Closer together than further apart because it will um, bend around the corner and you won't see it as much. Oops, sorry, so that's one time. And I'm going to go in again up top. That's two times. And then actually, two's okay on this one. Last one I needed three, but I'm still going to do three help even out the other side because this one's more down and the other one's more on an angle. So there's three. Then you're just going to go across here. I think I'm going to come about right there and there. So just over from the eye a bit actually. I might try there but it's too much of an angle. I'm just going to go over one more. Mine aren't going to be even, so if you can get yours even, yay. Okay, so I am going to go over one more. It's right. I can't 
find the stitch. That's where I was. Was I that far over last time? I really want to be in in between those two. That V is where I want to be. I can't get in there. Come on. Okay, trying a different way. I think that will match up better. I don't know. Now I can't get in there to do a three. Two. Oh, and I forgot my little chunk of black yarn. I guess I'll have to use the dark gray. Pour them out. All right, your cheeks should be kind of even. You can always take them out and redo them if you don't like them or leave them off. And then we're just going to tie that in the back. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want to, um, when you stuff it, you don't want it to be too tight right there. You want it to be nice and even with the back or I guess the front of your yarn. Okay, cut that off. And I guess, where's my gray? My dark gray, not my light gray. Um, so I'm just gonna take a chunk, I don't know, about eight inches. And I'm going to separate that into two, or one, I think. One I did the last one, I think. So you just separate that piece out. Don't pull too hard if it doesn't want to come, because you will sometimes break that and have to get another piece. It makes a really thin spot and then breaks. Um, you don't have to make a thin one. I just thought the thin one would look kind of nice. And I have never done the thin mouth. So you're just going to take somewhere around where your cheek ended. One stitch over is what I did. Pull it up. And then I'm going to go down one stitch. My thread came out. I don't know if I'm going to like this light gray or this gray over the black, but that's what's happening. And then you're going to go one stitch over from your cheek for the other side of the mouth. And you're going to go back in that bottom middle stitch there between the two for the mouth that I've got here. And then you're just going to lightly tie that so you don't pull it too tight. Enough that it's not going to move around, but not so much that you've tightened those strings and they kind of disappear. If you were using a full strand and didn't separate it, you could probably pull it a lot tighter. Um, it's just, this is so thin, it might disappear in your yarn. Oh, it looks okay. Okay, so now we are going to do our last two rows of um, yellow, which should be rows 17 and 18. So get back in your yellow. And we're just going to do 18 single crochets like before and two rows of them. 
So one and, and then two, and then three. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and on your eighteenth stitch, you're just going to go in, pull up, and you're not going to finish that because we are going to change to the brown now. Okay, so now we're going to attach our brown. Got a couple knots in. Flip our yellow. We are done with that. We'll pull through for our color change. And this should be row 20. And we're just going to do, oh, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. Um, I'm going to do in the back loop because I wanted this kind of, I was originally going to make it kind of, like a seesaw -y up and down um, like a pencil sharpener but I just thought it's easier to do the back loop so if you don't want these stitches looking like this you're gonna go in both loops or if you're um, more on the beginner side and your stitches maybe aren't quite as tight you might want to go through both loops like you've been doing through the whole thing instead of the back loop just so you don't have a space when you're stuffing it. Okay. So get back to organized here. So if you're going in the back loop, this is considered your front loop. This is considered your back loop. So instead of going under both stitches, you're just going to go under the back loop only. So that front loop stays kind of like a little ridge there. We're going to do 18 in the back loop. One, two, oops, I didn't get through both, three, four, five, oops, six, Oh, I'm not going through very good here on the yellow. Look at that. There we go. Nope. There we go. <laughs> I 
I don't know what stitch I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight is next. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen and eighteen. And then now you're just going to continue through both loops again on your next stitch of the row there. Okay, so... Oh, that was row 19. I forgot I added an extra row in one of them and I changed all my numbers and then I liked it better without the extra row of 18. So for the next rows, we're going to be decreasing. I believe this is row 20 and it's going to be four single crochets and a decrease all the way around. So one, two, three, Four, and then you're going to do your decrease. So in, grab your yarn, in, grab your yarn, and then pull through all three loops. And that was five. So six, seven, eight. Nine, and then your decrease. In and grab your yarn. In and grab your yarn. Three loops on your hook, and pull through all three. And that was 10. And now 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 will be your last decrease. So in, grab your yarn, in, grab your yarn, grab your yarn again, and pull through those three loops. I think maybe we should stuff this before we get going too far with our decreases. So grab your stuffing. I liked mine quite firm, but you want to be careful not to spread your stitches. That's why I went down a hook size this time. Usually I I like to use a 4.5, but I decided I would go a little bit smaller with my hook just because I knew I wanted to stuff it fairly firmly and I didn't want to have spaces in my stitches. So if you find when you're crocheting that you have a lot of stuffing sh showing through. Either you're overstuffing it, or you can go down a needle size, or a hook size, sorry, and that should help a lot. Um, this is a 4.25. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the stitches. Or it's a 4.5, the green one but I do have a fairly tight stitch. I'm trying to figure out the over under stuff and I still can't figure out if I crochet over or I crochet under. I think I do my first grab in the over position and I think I come through the loops in the under position or other way around. I'm not sure. Maybe it's I got it backwards. But because I don't actually loop my yarn over, I grab it and twist my hook. I can't figure out which way I do it. But I have a feeling I do it one way with one and one way, the other way with the other. Although I have the V's, so maybe not. Okay, that should be enough for now. 
Okay, so this should be row 21, if I have it marked proper on my sheet here. And we are going to do three single crochets and a decrease for a total of 12. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four and three more, five, six, seven, and eight is a decrease. I think I just got ding-a-ling down my phone. And then three more and a decrease. So nine, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. So you should have three rows of brown so far, 18, um, 15, and 12 stitches. Um, okay, we're gonna do one more row of brown and then we're gonna switch to our, our pencil lead color. So this should be row 22, I think, and it'll be two single crochets and a decrease, just like we've been doing. So, one, two, and three is a decrease. Four. Five and six is a decrease. And then seven. Eight and nine is a decrease. And don't finish that stitch. Go through and pull up, go through and pull up. So you have your three stitches on your hook for your decrease and then we're going to change the color to black oh i bet that's my pumpkin so we'll cut the brown we'll tie on our black or um, whatever color you're using i guess i'm using a dark gray um kind of that pewter color of a pencil lead One, on this next uh, couple rows are going to be a little tricky, so take your time. Try and make sure you get in the right stitch you're going in. And it's going to be a little hard to see this... Um, dark color on the video, but um, I'll tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And I'm just going to add a little bit extra stuffing. That might be too much because at the end it's a lot harder to add when you're down to six stitches, which is our next row. So this should be row 24, and we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease. So finish your last stitch. Let's see if I can get this a little closer for you guys. Okay, so. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So one, and then two is a decrease. Three, four, 
four is a decrease. Try and keep it nice and tight. Five. And then six is your decrease. And I'm going to take my stitch marker out because there's no room in there for it much. And it's just in my way. Maybe put a little bit of stuffing in there again. Now, with the hole being so small, you'll probably need to guide it in with something else. I'm just going to use the end of my hook. Um, a Chinese chopstick works really good if you have one or a thicker crochet hook if you have one handy. I'm just too lazy to go get something else so I'm just using what I have in my hand. Okay so now you're gonna want to put three single crochets in these six stitches or like three decreases. Um, if you can't get them it's fine. The, what you want to focus more on is that you're kind of getting a nice pointy tip like that. This one I couldn't quite get in the in the last two stitches for a decrease so I only went in the second last one and then I slip stitched and I don't like this point quite as much as this point. But all up to you. In the end, you're the you're gonna be your worst critic probably when it comes to this point. So one decrease. And then a second decrease if you can see them stitches. Make sure you're going under the two loops, up through the hole, and grabbing that yarn. Find your next stitch up through the hole. See, I'm not probably getting three in this one. And then back through. So that's two decreases. And I'm doing it very tight. Oh no, I lost my yarn. I'm gonna have to do that again. Yeah, okay. So into that stitch. Into the next stitch. And this time, make sure I get to all three loops. I think I got a piece of stray yarn there. And I actually can't even tell where my next stitch is. So I'm. What is going on here? I'm just going to put one slip stitch down in there if I can. Hopefully that gives me a good point. I feel like one side's pointed nice and one side's pointed not nice. But like I said, you will be your own worst critic when it comes to this little end. And I might redo it off camera after. It's just I have my arms about well, as far as they can stretch away from me, so I can't really see that very good. Okay, so you're going to cut your yarn. Pull that through. Get your darning needle, and I'm going to zoom back out. Whoops, wrong way. And you can also use this tail to kind of fix a mistake if you think you've made one. So you want to try and get in that center. And I am maybe, I'm going to come right here and put a little bit of black on the side that I didn't get my third uh, single crochet. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. So I'm just going to go like this. Um... So while I'm doing this, I'm, we're almost done, so I'm just going to say um, 
if you want to help ah, if you like my videos and you want to help me out make sure you um like the video and you hit the subscribe button um i don't know how youtube's algorithm works but it's very strange to me a half hour video gets like or not a half hour a two hour video gets like uh average watch time of two minutes and 30 seconds so um and i think if you're a sub subscriber it gives you some kind of a bonus if subscribers rewatch another video so please like and subscribe send me a comment if you want so far i've been pretty good about getting them all answered um what else there was something else i was going to mention and i can't remember what it is now oh if any of this stuff you see here you want to make, um, it's all on my channel and my playlist. It's uh, called Quick and Easy Crochet Playlist. And if I went and grabbed my phone, I could actually, if you're not sure how to find a playlist of mine, I can show you how to do that. Okay, so just, and then just pull that out the back. And cut it off and we will put the keychain on next <laughs> that is a funny little point isn't it all right for the keychain get your one plier and you just want to hook it on the edge there And I am going to try and go from here to here, just so I have more strength in there. You could go under one, but I feel like if you want it to last a little longer and not any have any stitches break out, try and get it on both sides. So I'm going to go up through the middle, pick a middle stitch, and just dig it down. And then I'm going to try and get over into here. Where are you? Nope. I probably should open this a little better. Or practice this. There we go. So I got both sides there now. And then, oh, I don't know where I put my, oh, right underneath of me here. And you're going to put your loop of your keychain on. Well, I can't do this looking in the camera, <laughs> obviously. I have no depth perception. Okay, get that link on there. Now, I'm going to grab my other pliers. If you don't have another set, you're going to have to figure a way to get that um, other little piece closed. And you're just going to... Ah! Well... <laughs> Okay. You know, I did the first two perfectly. And now this one is being a problem. Hopefully you're not having the same problem I'm having. This should be simple and easy. Get your two pliers in and now just bring them together. Can you see that? And then I just give them a little bit of a pinch. You don't want to push them past each other, but you just want those two ends touching. And then just kind of spin that join down to the bottom. Um, and there you go. I've got three little guys, and I'm just going to show you how to get to my... I probably should have had it set up already, but... So, let's watch a video. So, if you're watching one of my videos right now... You're just going to hit 
um, my picture right there. And that'll take you over to my channel. And then up across the top here, where it says playlist, you're going to click that. And you're going to find, where is it? Quick and easy projects. And that'll show you all the, all the short little quick ones I have. I think all of them are under an hour or right close to an hour. And I would appreciate that if you enjoy watching my videos. Um, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching and happy crocheting.